Wow. Wow. And this actually had 152 likes. I don't even know what to say other than wow. Hey friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I am excited for today's video where I'm essentially going to roast myself. So I asked you guys on my Instagram stories if you would like to see a video on my Facetune slash Photoshop fails. I actually got this video idea because I recently did a video talking about how CVS told me to stop Facetuning. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link down below. That's a good story time video. But I was looking through my old Instagram photos and I'm very open with you guys. I'm just wiping my phone off. It has a shit ton of makeup on it. By the way, how do we feel about this top? I think I filmed in it before. I love it. It kind of gives me like faux Tina Turner vibes. Anyways, um, and good Lord, did I used to FaceTime myself. So I just thought, let's go back down memory lane and just have some good old laughs on Nikki's sake. So on Nikki's sake, that doesn't sound right. Let's just jump in. Okay, skin smoothing obsession. For some reason, when was this posted? November 25th, 2016. So two and a half years ago, I used to be obsessed with skin smoothing and I used to take it to a whole other level. And it's just so obvious. Like my eyebrows don't even look like hair. They look like putty. <laughs> That's the true tell of someone that is really taking the face tune or the Photoshop to a next level when the eyebrows don't even look like hair anymore. I remember just smoothing the entire thing. I used to be obsessed with it, but the problem is that is not reality. You start looking like a cartoon character. Now this one, this is one of my worst ones. And I think just because it's up close, like it almost doesn't even look human. It's kind of weird. Maybe I'm being too harsh on myself. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments down below, but it just was overboard. Like no, Maybe someone's skin does look like that in real life, but mine definitely did not. And I, like, in almost, you can't even see where my nose stops and my, my skin begins. It's just weird. I really used to go overboard with the skin smoothing. I was just obsessed with my skin looking flawless and always looking perfectly smooth, but that's just not the reality, at least not for me. Now, this one actually wasn't too bad. I didn't edit my, um, my upper half, but my legs, I have really, I don't, they're not wrinkly. What do you call them? Like legs that kind of, my knees like roll over each other. So it's kind of like a weird insecurity of mine. So a lot of times I'll smooth it out because I don't like how rolly it looks. It almost looks like my knees are kind of pudgy basically. And I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's because I have thicker legs, like I have thicker thighs and I didn't edit my thighs at all, but I remember severely smoothing out my knees which I was like, even then I was like, okay, smoothing out your knees is a little weird, Nikki. It's a little weird. And this actually had 152 likes. I don't even know what to say other than wow. Just wow. I think the biggest offender for me is the skin smoothing. I never really, um, what do you call it? Like edit the way a feature, no. Not edit, like I don't really like edit my eyes or like, my lips or anything. I don't make them look bigger or smaller, but the skin smoothing, the skin smoothing. If you haven't seen the video where I talk about CVS telling me to stop face tuning myself, check it out because it's very interesting.